Yeah, yeah, I am. Um, I am enjoying Instagram, but there are moments where you, th- where, where, where it's a bit like, <laughs> you know, you know, it, it, it <laughs> takes up, it takes up a lot of your, it takes yeah. up a lot yeah, of your time. Yeah, yeah. And, um, but, but yeah, yeah, it takes up a lot. So I, I think you do have to approach it like you, you, you kind of have to be a bit rigorous in terms of how much time you give it, because, yeah, no, it may, you'd be sitting on your own. Like it's a weird way to fucking interact. You sit on your own. You're all alone. You're feeling miserable, and then you've got like you know this weird situation where you've got this thousands of people fucking messaging. I don't know. It's a bit <laughs> you know, it's a bit. It's a. It's a bit odd. You're sitting on your own. Some lad from Offaly's fucking messaging. Yeah, like, like fuck off, up. mate. <laughs> and that, that's the other thing. You'd be worried about the kind of fuckers you, you'd be attracting as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was very funny. Like I, I said, I was playing in London. You know, I was doing a gig in London and one lad showed up, you know, <laughs> a bit drunk, like, you know, <laughs> comes to the gig and, he, you know, he's following on Instagram. Oh, yeah. I'm going to take a picture, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, OK. And then he just walks off into the night, you know what I mean? <laughs> and you're just thinking, gee. <laughs> but then I, play, I did a gig in New York, you know, like a crowd of Irish showed up and that was quite emotional almost, you know. Mm. <clears throat> so it's nice. It's, it's a great way to connect. And it also gives people who normally wouldn't get the opportunity to do tv shows or radio shows to 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 go for it to try it out yeah. to fail you know whatever no no i i, I stopped i stopped busking about 10 years ago okay. but uh, no i bust for a long time i mean in a way like again to be banging on about instagram i mean so the platform let's say for busking is the street you set your stall up there you take out your guitar gather your audience build up your audience over half an hour 40 minutes you like what i do uh well show your appreciation by putting your hand in your pocket and giving me some money i mean the applause is great but i can't go to my fucking landlord and go <laughs> do, you know, do, you know, do you know what i mean so 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 this is a fucking online version of street performing for me so yeah. that's why the penny dropped um okay. and i'm sure it's exciting for you guys to see your popularity grow and to yeah. see and and also to see what works uh, and you you improve your editing mm. techniques your performance mm. techniques your your uh, fucking um, writing and all the rest of it and then then you think then you think oh jeez this is sustainable i can actually i might not ever have to get a fucking real job again <laughs> oh, that, do, 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 do you know what i mean it, it's, it's exciting you know that is the fucking yeah. that's that's the thing that drives us definitely like say when you were busking when when did the penny drop to use your term and you were like do you know what i'm going to do a fucking live show and people are going to buy tickets to this. Oh, well, yeah, Jesus. I never had that kind of cop on or ambition. Like, I went on, I, I, I did, I mean, I started, I'm 54, so I started busking 30 years ago when I was about 24. And I did my first, in 1983, I, I, I busked for the first time. But anyway, I, I started busking in Tokyo in Japan. And up what? to that point, I, I was busking in underground stations, just playing oh. fucking Beatles songs and Bob Dylan or whatever. <laughs> But up until that point, I had various jobs like teaching English, kept on getting fired, problem with authority, all the rest of it. But then, then so, so in other words, busking, standing on the street, um, being able to make a living. And then, then I thought, Jesus Christ, I can make a living doing this. I can pay the rent. I yeah. can support myself. And it was such a revelation. It was such a relief. Um, and, I, and I think I did the busking for because it allowed me a lifestyle whereby I didn't have to work that hard could make enough money to pay the rent look after my kids and so you're a good singer um passable not a good singer <laughs> but 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 in other words um and then i found that when i made people laugh or the audience laugh i made more money so then sort of naturally i i sort of developed that skill so you and and but the it, it the go, going into stand-up it, it happened very slowly and you know and i made all the wrong mistakes and didn't didn't you know get an age i didn't never I never. I still don't have an agent, actually. No, I have an acting agent. Okay. You know, are they any good? The acting agent. Well, you know, he, he's he's an English guy, and he, he's very nice and very polite. <laughs> and I really like him. Yeah. And I'm not. I, I do get the occasional, uh, you know, auditions. But I'm not. You know, like like with you guys, we. That's the fucking liberating thing about what you guys are doing. Twenty years ago, if you said, "Oh yeah, no," because in your phone, you you, you can record yourself with a camera yeah. a, a, and then you can download that and then you can broadcast it to people who have phones you know it's amazing they say you were fucking crazy yeah yeah, yeah. yeah so no that was about seven or eight years ago yeah, yeah. Uh, it was a it was uh 
Oh yes, so yeah, Brendan Gleeson. Yeah, Brendan Gleeson's character. Man, who was a huge fan of Brendan Gleeson. Anyway, his character in Calvary came to me, the bishop, for uh, advice and so on. But my character sort of washed his hands of the whole situation, <laughs> sort of, and, and let and, and. But but in terms of research, I I went to Blackrock College. I don't know where you guys go. Were you brought up with priests? No, we. Uh, I just went to a tech. It was right. fucking weird. We're from we, 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 we brought ourselves up. Like. But in primary school, did oh, you nuns? No, 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 just a normal. So I was. So 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 I went to Blackrock College. Very kind of elitist. I mean, let's be honest, snobby, kind of entitled. You know, in other words, <laughs> you know, we don't. We we, we had. There's a fairly narrow band of what we ex- expect you to go into in terms of careers. Yeah. But but. Uh, yeah. Um, anyway, the, the, in Blackrock College, there were these priests called the Holy Ghost Fathers. The Holy Ghost Fathers, and there were <laughs> some seriously, <laughs> ser- yeah, seriously creepy dudes. <laughs> and some of them, you know, they'd, they'd wear they'd wear sandals, so you wouldn't hear them coming down the <laughs> So You know that kind of thing. Uh, you know, you know, priests with sandals. So a lot of those, uh, there was there was a few priests like, and uh, so it, it's, it, they'll be talking to you now. I don't know. Yeah, what is it about? So, so that no outlet for your sexuality. So you've never had the ride in your mm. life, and you're a man. Uh, it, it drove them fucking mental, I'm sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? But when I think of, I'm making a movie, yeah. and I'm looking for somebody to play a bishop. Mm. You know, you're not the first name yeah. that would come to my well, head. Well, he he would have he would have been a fan of the Savage Eye, and uh, in every yeah. episode of the Savage Eye, I did. Uh, we took the piss out of the Catholic Church. Yes, in every chap in every episode. So, like, you know, yeah. So you know, he would have he would have seen seen me in various sketches. So those he, sketches where you dressed up as a priest and abducted yeah, children. Yeah, I know. Very enjoyable. I television. know, but it's, it, it is funny. Like at the time, <laughs> when you think about it, the at the time in two thousand nine, all the revelations of sexual abuse, clerical sex abuse, w- were coming out in the, and then also the banks were failing. So these big institutions, yeah. Mm, were fallen. Were, 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 that we looked to for moral guidance, and they they turned out to be corrupt as f- I mean, in the worst possible mm. way. Certainly within the church. So anything comedians were doing, nobody could really object that much. Okay. Yeah. Pre that, I, I I don't think did those sketches would have been allowed to air. When I well, I think. Um, yeah, they deserved it because I think for so long, um, I, I think we paid a big price for how they involve themselves in everything. Like, like, like in everything, they almost, to me, they made me feel slightly disgusted and shameful around my libido and <laughs> desire and my body and all that sort of stuff. And it's almost they were disgusted with reality. It was always yeah. about it was always about like, you know, and, you know, God in heaven. And so they were always concerned with um, how should I how should I put it? Like just the whole ethos of the church, you know, the fact that, um, you know, the Virgin Mary, she wasn't sullied by this physical intimacy and contact and that, you know, you know, we should suffer. It's OK to suffer. And, and then when we go to. Like, like in, in other words, they're only they love what doesn't exist. They go on about they they go on about the, you know. But do you know what I mean? They go they go they go on about the you know, heaven and so on. And then if you ask anybody about heaven, you say to them, well, "What is heaven?" And pearly gates, fucking um, clouds. Yeah, okay. But what, so then what happens? What's day one like? You know, what's day two? You know, they haven't got a fucking clue what they're talking about. So it's it's like the reality of what we are is so beautiful. Sexual desire is wonderful. It's not dirty. It's not fil- people who are making us feel weird about it. They're the fucking deviants and yeah. the perverts yeah. and the weirdos. Um, and also, uh, you know, it, it is sad because it is good to have somebody who you're not uh, to have somebody in a community like a, w- a wise person. But they, they've nobody would go to a priest now in general for advice. And the, and the fact that. It turns out that these guys, a lot of these guys were really deviant and paedophiles. And not only that, they were more interested in protecting each other, moving them from parish to parish. And the fact that they still exist is, is, is really uh, su- surprising. And, and also the, the, the shite that they come out with. The, the, you know, like, like, I'm, like you know, you've, how many funerals have you been to? What? Uh, funerals. Funerals and, and, and listen to those eulogies. Oh, that yeah, yeah. Like, like, 
Like, like they, they, I remember a friend of mine, his dad died, and and I think that the priest said something. Some I'm tr- paraphrasing, you know, and even one of these half dead priests, and, <laughs> and um, I remember John. One, one time, um, he, he, I was changing a light a bulb, <laughs> right, a light bulb, right, and then John said, "I did a great job," but later on, John did it properly because I didn't want to embarrass me at the time something like that so he he, <laughs> he tried to encapsulate this whole man's life into this yeah. shit meaningless fucking interaction to show how he, what, what integrity he has and this is the last moment of this man before yeah. he gets buried <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know and this priest coming out and, and you know over you know so, so there's, there's yeah that's crazy yeah it is crazy Well, the, uh, the the good classic one is Joe Duffy. Uh, he didn't like it at all, which is which means it was on the money. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? So so his his character um, uh, he, he, was extreme. <laughs> well 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 the thing is, I was saying this to Dermot and Dave. The first time I heard Joe Duffy, he was talking to somebody, and and there, there was a sexual component to how he was interacting with the poor. You know, uh, how would you get beaten down by life caller? Yeah. He's calling up, and yeah, Joe, and then something bad happened, and this happened, and then so Joe was so in my head, it sounded like Joe had just fucked the woman who had just called up, and they were post coitus, and she they're lying on bed, and she's got her head on his chest, and he's kind of going, yeah, and then what happened? And then the, the whole room got flooded. It did it, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, he, he's turned on sexually by other people's misery. And th- there is, you could, you could hear it in his voice. I almost thought his larynx was vaginal. <laughs> so, 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 so it was like, you know, so if somebody rang up uh, with, who, who, was, who was kind of very like, yeah, no, I'm doing well, things are great, he'd, he'd clam up. And then my me father died. Oh. He'd get all like that. And so I was getting that all across on the RT. I don't, listen. Actually, it doesn't matter what the fuck you do. It, it, it is a tribute to Joe Duffy, yeah, actually. Yeah, and that's yeah. the only way he should. And, he, and I think um, because you're saying that he's culturally significant enough to yeah. be worthy of a fucking piss take. Yeah. So he's, he's, he's full of shit as well, like pretending that he was pissed off by it. <laughs> and anyway, what, what, what he does is entertainment. I think he might think of himself as a, a social... A bit of a public service. A public kinda. service. Yeah, well, you might be, but it's also it's entertainment, entertainment, you know. Yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, also, we loved your Pat Kenny. <laughs> oh yeah, the Pat Kenny thing. But yeah. did you used to uh, like warm up the Pat Kenny crowd? Did I did. I warmed up, and he cooled them down. No, I, 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 I warmed up uh, Pat Kenny for a year. If it did, warmed up Pat Kenny, <laughs> I was Pat Kenny's fluffer. <laughs> no, <clears throat> on the Late Late Show, uh, yeah, you do. You, 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 they, they have a warm up, and I used to warm up the crowd. I was I was drinking back then. And so there used to be a green room upstairs on the, the Late Late Show. Yeah. And so I'd fucking drink like fucking crazy. Look, I'd get really pissed. But, I, but I'll tell you, Pat Kenny, fucking sound bloke, good guy. Um, because I think on one occasion I got so drunk and I was trying to get out of RTE. I was trying to walk across the, the garden uh, over the wall or something. Anyway, I think I was in the fucking flower beds falling over or something. And then his, his limo drives by and the thing... The, the the window pulls in and, and he goes, uh, David, um, get into the car. <laughs> you know, in other words, so he, so he brought me home, which was very decent, of him, and didn't and didn't didn't get fired. So he's a good bloke. Pat what Kenny. a fuck! What yeah. a hero! Yeah, yeah. What an absolute hero! Yeah. Yeah.